Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Cherise Gibson. And I'm Katie Moore. Karen is off tonight, and today, in a unanimous committee vote, the New Orleans City Council advanced legislation to pardon people for some marijuana offenses. Now, there are some opponents to the plan to decriminalize pot possession, but for small amounts. But apparently, none of the Criminal Justice Committee, as Jenny Jade Cunningham reports. On a federal level, marijuana is illegal. These ordinances being discussed by the Criminal Justice Committee will not legalize pot, but if passed, it will make it so if somebody is found with 14 grams of marijuana or less, that they will not be criminalized for it. And the Criminal Justice Committee is on board with it. It was mentioned today after 2,700 simple possession summons are issued by New Orleans police a year, and that a lot of manpower and time is used to file each of those summons. Committee members strongly believe it'd be a better use of NOPD resources if officers could instead focus on other issues like trying to curb the city's violent crime. Another part of this focuses on the past, and what this means is if this passes, those who've been convicted of simple possession of marijuana in New Orleans would be pardoned, and it's believed there would be about 10,000 pardons to complete. People who spoke at Tuesday's meeting were all in favor of it. The committee was also on board, but there is some opposition to this, mainly if passed. The fear is that crime would increase, but Moreno argues it is time to get this passed. Just right when it comes to best utilizing our NOPD manpower, it's just right for racial equity, it's right for criminal justice reform, it's right for making sure people don't get entangled in the criminal justice system and fines and fees, it's just right to make sure that people have housing and job opportunities. I mean, it checks every box, so it's just time to move forward with it. The council's criminal justice committee voted unanimously to pass this legislation. It now goes to the full council. Reporting from City Hall, Jay Cunningham, Eyewitness News. Now, even though it's in the hands of city council members, it could be a few months before anything is voted on for final approval.